So I walk into a local big box store and right away they actually recommended a Samsung to me. And there's several shiny looking Samsungs in a row here. I got to tell you, please stay away from Samsung. They may be cheap and you may be familiar with the brand because they make great TVs or awesome phones. But when it comes to washers and refrigerators, Samsungs are notorious for having problems. Don't just take my opinion for it. Please call any local technician and ask them. Now, this is an LG. I don't like LG, but a lot of the technicians will tell you their top load washers with an agitator actually do a good job. So you may consider that. They don't have the maintenance problems that they used to have, but it's all computer electronics. So you may run into some problems with the LGs. Very dependable from what a lot of the guys in the field tell you. I personally don't care for LG. Shinier ones, this one doesn't have an agitator. Forget about it. Now this is the new GE. I like this dual action agitator. Uh, GEs are made in America, although it's controlled by Hire, a Chinese company. At least it's making American jobs and GE seems to have a better tech support and field support system than some of the other American brands like Whirlpool and Maytag. So I do like GE for those reasons. Uh, Maytag seem to have more issues than some of the Whirlpools, although it's really essentially the same thing. But it is American made, and although some of them are made in Mexico, I think, um, I would actually tell you to check out some of the Whirlpools and the GEs if you can't get a Speed Queen. Speed Queen's the obvious answer. The detachable impeller, uh, detachable agitator is kind of a gimmick i don't really care for it i think it's one more thing that can break some people think it's the best thing since sliced bread or a remote control i'm not crazy about it so uh, you can look at whirlpools and you'll probably do okay you can look at ge's and you're probably going to get a good machine generally speaking now this video is for people that can't afford a speed queen this is a real budget machine the hot point made in America, not much to it, not much that can go wrong with it. You'll find some uh, other cheap GEs like that. Um, just a real basic, durable machine. Not a lot of problems with this unit in particular. So uh, then they have the upgraded dual action agitator, the 465. This is going to be a larger capacity, uh, does a better job at getting things clean than an impeller machine. I don't recommend the ones without the agitator. I would, I would recommend you stick to something with an agitator. Overall, you're going to be much happier, much satisfied with how it cleans things. It's just going to do the job well. Again, a lot of the Whirlpools have computer problems down the road, and there's a little hack for fixing some of those. I hope this helps. God bless. Thanks for watching.